Mm -hmm. No, no, yeah, yeah. No, okay, no, so not, not two. No, 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 I actually said 200. Yeah. Yeah, 200 Squishmallows? Yes. Yes, just put it on my, on my tab. Yeah, mm-hmm. No, I need those delivered tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, no, I'm about to stream. Don't worry about it. Yeah. No, 200, 200. Okay. And make sure all of them are extra plump or else, you know, what happened last time? We don't want that to happen again, you know? Okay, yes, 200 Squishmallows. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, just charge it. Mm-hmm. Yes, I will be going in debt. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Okay, 200 Squishmallows. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. You guys are here? What? What? <laughs> I didn't know. How much of that did you hear? How much of that did you hear? <laughs> 200! 200! I don't know how many times I have to say it. <laughs> Okay, I'm not actually ordering 200 Squishmallows, but I did have this idea last night um, that I need a lot of Squishmallows for. So I, I am going to have to buy very many at some point. But anyways, hello. <laughs> hello. Hi, I hope we're all doing good. I just, I don't know. I'm feeling kind of silly goofy today. So don't mind me. Yeah. Such an actor. Yeah. The debt collector's hair. <laughs> I love it. I love it. How's everybody doing today? I hope you're all doing fantastic. I hope you're also in a silly, goofy mood. And if you're not, I hope you will be by the time we're done with this chaos today. <laughs> um, what? Thank you so much for the super chat. New to Animal Crossing, what island theme should I do? Honestly, whatever, like, just speaks to you. Whatever you feel like you're going to have fun with, that is what I recommend. Um, so take a look on Pinterest, you know, search up some Animal Crossing themes, whatever, like, just speaks to you. Just go with that. <laughs> How many of them do you have, Raven? Too many. Too many. Cherry Cat, thank you so much for the super chat. There's also a villager at the campsite today. We'll go take a look. Like, maybe it's somebody tropical that we can grab, you know? And Jen, thank you so much for the 18 months. Literally perfect stream. I just got the OLED and started a new island. Nice! Oh, I hope the OLED is treating you well. And Alex, thank you so much for the super chat. Happy 700k queen. Been here since before. Seven, before? Oh my goodness. Before 100k. Thank you so much. And yes, thank you guys so much for 700k. What the heck? Stop subscribing to me. <laughs> Stop it. But thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And we uh we got to do a proper celebration with like a proper chaotic video at some point once we're done with the 30 day challenge. So be on the lookout for that. Uh, Abby, thank you so much for the super chat. Should you kick out Rosie or Tangy? My heart's saying Rosie to kick out Rosie. That's what my heart is saying right now. <laughs> is the Florida Island going to be on Lake Frog? Yes. Yes. That's why we are flattening her. And Frugies, thank you so much for being a member for 14 months. Was in the ER two days ago and yesterday. Might go again tonight. But anyways, what's the craving? Oh no, I hope everything is okay. I hope that things get better. I hope nothing is, is, is too bad. I'm wishing you all the best. The craving today, since you asked so nicely, if I can find it on OBS. Drum roll, please. It's a good one. Today's craving pineapple pizza now this may be a little controversial you know not everybody likes the pineapple on the pizza but i love the pineapple on the pizza so that's the craving <laughs> and lucille thank you so much for the super chat are we gonna have peach camp today and anyways don't forget to end stream yes yes thank you peach decided that she didn't want to hang out with me today so if she comes to the door i will let her in and we'll have peach camp but as of now, she's not even in the room with us. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. <laughs> yes, bestie, love pineapple pizza. How fitting for Florida core, right? Right? Not pineapple pizza? Listen, it's good. It's good, okay? It's good. <laughs> Reina, thank you so much for the super chat. I just got your new merch today. My mom bought it for me. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I hope you love it. And Saturn, thank you for the super chat. What's your opinion on like a dream purple slash starry farm? That sounds super cute. That sounds adorable. Do it, yes. Okay, so let's check this campsite villager. Let me stop stalling. See if it's anybody good. I don't think so, though. I don't think you can top the infamous Wendy cake with the tortilla tummy. That's very true. I don't know if I can. Um, You know, okay, we have a frog, which is good, right? I like the back of his head. I just don't like the front, so we're gonna we're gonna pass on him. 
Oh, and Millie, thank you so much for the super chat. Today I had a sub that was so rude. He yelled at everyone, but you're the best. And Tangy or Lily? Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. I There's no reason for them to yell at everybody. So I'm sorry if that made your day a little bit worse. But just remember that we're all here. We're all going to have a nice froggy time together. And I would say Tangy. I gotta say Tangy. She's my all-time girl, you know? <laughs> And mixed guys, thank you for the super chat. Hey Raven, how was your day? It was pretty good. It's been pretty good. I woke up early today. Um, believe it or not. Believe it or not. So I've been awake for a little while. Um, but we're gonna power through. I got my water. We're gonna do hydrations. And I'm gonna have some nice sandwiches for dinner. I also should be checking nooks to see if we have any, like, cute tropical things. You know what I mean? Um, I don't know if... I probably have some tropical things for Leapfrog. Like, oh, this umbrella would be cute. Like, that I used to decorate Leapfrog, but, you know, if we find any particularly very much tropical things, we will we will buy them. <laughs> and Cherry Cat, thank you so much for the super chat. What do you think you're going to do at Peach Cam? Whenever she wants to show up. I try not to force them to do anything, you know? Um... If they don't want to hang out with me and they don't want to be in the room, then I'm not going to force them. I would feel really bad. Like, I'm just going to let them chill and do what they want. So, I don't know where she's been all day. I think she's been on the cat tree. She's been really liking the cat tree lately. So, if Peachy wants to be on the cat tree, she can be on the cat tree. Not going to force her. But if she, uh, if she comes into the room, we'll definitely put up a little peach can. <laughs> Okay, so everything's looking pretty much empty. We might have to get to some terraforming today, which is going to be uh, so fun. But let me just do a once over. I know we still have some stuff on the back left. So let me, I guess, work on that first. Going to work on unpacking, going to lurk. Okay, Michaela, no worries. Have fun. Have fun. I'm so bad at unpacking. Oh my goodness. You know what's hilarious, actually? Um... I went and saw my dad, like, in March. Still haven't unpacked from that. My backpack is still sitting packed on my bedroom floor right now. <laughs> I'm not- I wish I was joking. I really wish I was. <laughs> oh, goodness. So bad. And Mudsy, thank you so much for being a member for two months. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so I think the the rest of our stuff is, like, on the left side of the island. So we'll just pick up the rest of this. And we'll probably uh, get to terraforming. Get to terraforming. And Bagnus, thank you so much for becoming a Tadpole member. Welcome to the pond. Thanks for splashing in. Had the most delicious boba tea the other day. I had peach green tea with mango popping boba. I feel like you'd really enjoy it. Ooh. I feel like I would enjoy that. I love peach peaches and my cat peach and i do love mango popping boba so that sounds right up my alley all my work keeping you in my pocket so i can just listen to the stream on my earbuds while i work okay sounds good sounds good if i do any um like physical comedy jokes where you need to look at the screen i'll be sure to describe it for you <laughs> can we still name the island even though it's the same actual name we have something to call it yeah i think we should we had some good names last week um, Frogida was, like, one of them that was really great. Frogida, um, I've just been calling it Florida Island. Mm. Any other, any other things we can come up with, you know? Oh, I never unpack from traveling. This is, like, moving unpacking, though, so I got it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Different, different things. It just reminded me of that. <laughs> I was like, wait, I have something I've never unpacked. But I hope that's going- I hope that's going well. How have the kitties been? I hope they've not been stressed. I hope they've been okay. Just checking in. How are you and Quack and the kitties? We're doing good. Thank you. Oh, update on Pepper. Um, so he's been on the antibiotics. In case you guys didn't know, Pepper, my cat, has been sneezing. And I took him to the vet and they didn't really know what was going on. So they gave him some antibiotics in case it's like a kind of infection. And he seems to be sneezing a lot less. Like before, I would notice it a lot throughout the day. And he would eat, he even had one sneezing fit where he did it like multiple times over and over. Um, but I've definitely been noticed his sneezing has gone down. 
but I can't say for sure if it's completely gone, you know. But he's okay. I mean, he's totally fine. Otherwise, like, he's eating, he's drinking, he's playing, he's bailing, he's being silly, you know? He's trying to escape out the front door as always. <laughs> so he's totally fine otherwise. I think, I think it is going down. It just takes a little bit um, for those antibiotics to kick in a little bit. Allergies, maybe. But, like I said last week, we're just- I'm just gonna keep giving them to him for the full two weeks, and then we'll see where he's at then. But yeah, thank you for the well wishes for him. And Kat, thank you so much for the seven months. Maybe he has kitty allergies. Uh, Leho gets sneezy in the spring. It could be. It could be. Like I said, if he's still doing it after the antibiotics, it's definitely something else. So I'm gonna take him in again if it still continues. But I definitely noticed improvement. Whether it's just a coincidence or because the antibiotics are working, you know? Cats took it way better than I expected. They started going out of my room and exploring the house. Oh, I'm so glad. I'm so glad to hear that. Oh, it's always stressful, like, knowing that your cats or your pets are going to be stressed. Causes causes our, causes our the owner stress, you know? <laughs> I feel you. My dog Cooper had to be put on some antibiotics for two ear infections in both ears, so he has to pee constantly. Oh, no. <laughs> Well, I hope that that's getting better and clearing up. Yeah, it's it, it always sucks when pets are like, you know, struggling in some way or, or whatever. I'm like, oh, no, I don't want anything to be wrong with you. Just you're fine. I want you to be perfectly healthy and, and perfect. But it's part of life. They'll get through it. Yeah, they'll, they'll bounce back. Thankfully, he's 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 good, you know? Pepper is, like, the most food-driven cat ever. Like, that man is obsessed with wet food. Like, if he could dedicate his life to something, I swear it would be wet food. So, the when I, when I start getting scared is if he ever, like, doesn't eat his wet food. Because then you know there's an issue. Because man's always eats his wet food, you know? But thankfully that hasn't happened. He's, he's been... He's been eating it. <laughs> uh, anyways. Am I going to update my dream address on this island? Still unsure. Still unsure. Um, not sure if we're going to overwrite Leapfrog. Oh my goodness, this thing is so loud. Oh, thank you. Or if we're just going to um, not have a dream address for the Florida island? Not sure. I think the thing you should keep an eye on them is if they struggle to go to the bathroom and stop eating and drinking. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Pepper had a UTI in the past and he had some going to the bathroom issues where he would go over and over and over again because like it burned for him. So I'm like hyper aware of him like going to the litter box because I'm like, mm -mm -mm, no more UTI. No, not again, please. Because <laughs> that was pretty bad. But yeah, he's been fine so far. And Lily, thank you so much for the one month. Hey, Raven, hope you've been doing well today. Also, I wish there was chicken alfredo juice in Animal Crossing, <laughs> right? I wish we could make our own custom recipes and I could just like put my own chicken alfredo in the blender and make some juice, you know? And Naya's Vlogs, thank you so much for the super chat. <laughs> All right, so our storage is full. I forgot that my storage was almost full, so... I say let's try to get out some stuff that's not really, like, tropical, you know? Like, do I really need this many public benches? I don't think so. I don't think so. <laughs> do I need this many den desks? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. <laughs> My cat Charlie had a UTI as well. It almost cost his life due to the surgeon making a, mis a mistake during surgery. <gasps> oh no, that's that's really scary. I'm so glad that he came out of it okay. Thankfully, Pepper did not have to get any sort of surgery. Um, he just had to take a bunch of medicine and painkillers, but he is good and recovered from that for like, I want to say it's been a year now. Wow, time flies. Why not just expand your storage? Can I? Is there more? I thought I had the most upgraded expansion. No, not put something away. Let me see. Is 5,000 the cat? Yeah, I only have 3,200. How old is Pepper? He is like six, seven ish. Somewhere along those lines. Do I have money? Let me go check my ABD. Let's see. 
And Puplin, thank you so much for the super chat. Congrats on 700k, Raven. Wanted to ask if you had any advice for smaller channels such as myself to grow. Your content is so fun to watch. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Um, I would say... So, like, the funny thing about me reaching 700k is I have no idea how it happened. <laughs> I truly still don't know every- oh. Oh, yes. Um, I, I still truly don't know how exactly I got here because I just started just doing this for funsies and then it just exploded and I'm like, oh, okay. But something that I definitely tried to always do was just do something that like I truly enjoyed and truly was passionate about because I feel like that really reflects on your content like when you genuinely want to, you know, want to be there doing it and you're just having a good time and having fun and being silly and being being yourself i feel like people really appreciate oh my goodness speaking people really appreciate like seeing that reflected in your videos your streams whatever so i never tried to push myself that much to like do stuff that i thought would be good for like the content and the algorithm and the trends and whatever like if it aligned and i was like oh yeah that sounds fun and it's a trend let me do it then i would do it but I didn't try to force myself. So I would say my biggest tip is always just have fun, be genuine. Don't try to push yourself to try to like do something just for the trend, just for the views, because it may get you there in the short run, but in the long run, it's so much easier just to be yourself and have fun, you know? Okay, uh, let's expand my storage. Yes, yes. You can't use a loan for the fee, so I'll need to provide 90,000 bells up front. What? Okay, well, I need to go get the money, Tom. Tomothy. One second. Got a new K pop group recommendation. G Idol. Our girl group and just had a comeback today. They're very talented. Ooh, okay, okay. I'll check them out. Can you show, show us your shirt? It's a little. Sanrio shirt. I don't feel like standing, so I'm just gonna pull up my shirt. Little Hello Kitty and Friends shirt. I don't remember where I got this. I want to say like Hot Topic or Box Lunch. Um, speaking of Hot Topic and Box Lunch, I found the Strawberry Hello Kitty at Hot Topic this weekend. Like the one where she's holding a little strawberry that's on my ISO list, but I didn't get it. Because an 8-inch Squishmallow is $26 at... Why am I pressing 6? It's $26 at Hot Topic and Box Lunch. I'm just like, I... I don't want to spend that much on an 8-inch Squishmallow. Ugh. So I didn't pick her up. I don't even know if she sold anywhere else. That was probably like my one chance to get her. And I just was like, mm, no. <laughs> so we'll see if I end up finding her anywhere else. Who knows? Currently sick. Oh no, kitty cat crossing. I hope you feel better. I'm so sorry you're sick. Your energy and your, how you portray yourself are definitely uh, reflect on your audience. They'll be able to tell if they are passionate about your work and will be engaging with your content. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Okay, about my home. Expand, please. <laughs> Box lunch does have the cutest and real things. There are these. Um, Oh my goodness, they were like little Hello Kitty and Friends, like, enamel pins, like blind boxes, but they looked like little stamps, like postage stamps. I almost bought so many of them, and I was like, do I, do I need enamel pins right now? No, but they were so cute. I think I'm gonna, like, keep an eye on them online, to see if I can find them online, and see if, like, they ever have some sort of sale or anything. I don't know, but they were so cute. They were so cute. And they, like, didn't have any sort of, um, little, like, words or extra things. It was just, like, I don't know, it was, like, more of a simpler design, and I really appreciated that, so I'm gonna be on the lookout for those. Neo, thank you so much for the super chat, and Carrie, thank you so much. Oh my goodness. Drift, stop. For the super chat. <laughs> Finally got my first stream, my mom and I love you. Thank you so much, and welcome, welcome. I'm glad that you could make it in. Thanks, thanks. And Claire, thank you so much for the super chat. You're inspiring me to finally start working on my Jungle Core Island. I've had it planned for a while. Flattening is just so sad. It is. It is. It really is. But we can do this. We got this. We're going to flatten together, okay? <laughs> We're going to flatten together. British people crying at our lack of hot topic. 
No, you don't have Hot Topic? Do you have Claire's? I know Claire's is in Canada, right? Just got the little Squishmallow banana. Irene, I'm so jealous. Oh, but, okay, okay. Everybody who wants the banana Squishmallow, Junie, she is coming. She is coming in the clip form, I'm pretty sure, to Five Below. So if you have a Five Below, keep up with like the social media or whatever whenever they announce the drop it's coming it's coming i'm so excited i know that i'm gonna have to wake up early to get to my five below because everybody's gonna be like lined up at those doors uh and jenny Wu, thank you so much for becoming a tadpole member welcome to the pond thanks for splashing in we do have claire's nice like is here yay didn't even know five below sold clips i know i i have not seen clips for i mean they they did at some point i remember like a while ago like probably 2019 2020 they had some clips but they uh they don't i can't remember them having them in like recent history but anyways at least i saw on like the news like squishmallow news post they they had clips so I don't know. I won't question it. <laughs> I remember when you walked through the island and everything was extremely laggy. I know. I know. And now it's not. Because I got rid of everything. Found the blueberry pancakes at Walgreens. Nice! I can't remember if I have found that yet. Whenever I buy Squishmallows, I put them all in a pile on my floor. Because I like to make a little haul segment of my Squishmallow hunting videos. Where I'm like, okay, these are all the ones I bought. So they all kind of sit in a pile for a long time before I end up putting them on my shelves. So, I don't remember. They've all been in a bag for a long time. Quite quite a bit. <laughs> Finally have two Bigfoots. Nice! Oh, nice. That's a good amount of bells. Mm -mm. My island is so laggy in some areas that it slows down my walking speed. Never thought it would happen to my island, yet here we are. I know, it feels like it, it, it feels like you barely put any items and it's like laggy. Like I feel like um I feel like even Storybrook started to get really laggy. I mean I guess I did have a lot of wheat fields, so maybe it's not that surprising, but even Storybrook was like getting kinda laggy and I was like, okay, why is this happening to me already? <laughs> And Jordan, thank you so much for the super chat. Today's my 24th birthday. Normally it would be kind of lame that it's on a Monday, but I was happy because I knew you'd be streaming. Oh my goodness, my friend. Happy, happy birthday. That is so exciting. Um, we are just a few months apart. My birthday's coming up in August, so we're almost age twins. Just a few months. But I hope you have a fantastic day. I hope it's amazing. Um, I hope you can do some fun stuff to, despite it being a Monday. And I hope you just have a great great time <laughs> thanks for coming in it means a lot when you guys pop into my stream and it's your birthday i'm like it's your birthday go have fun like you know don't 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 feel the need to come and and talk to silly old me you know <laughs> but thank you guys you guys are thirsty hmm if only i had some sort of solution for that if only i had some way to incentivize people to like drink water i don't know maybe we could do a, a hydration check but does that work does that work everybody let's go ahead and do a froggy crossing hydration check if you haven't been to one of these before we're gonna grab our beverage i have my very crusty stanley i really need to wash it and we're gonna wait till that timer hits 30 seconds and once it hits 30 seconds we're all gonna take a drink together hydrate at the same time simultaneous hydration are we ready are we ready Okay. <clears throat> Take a sip. I'm sick. Don't make me get up and get water. Well, this should be the time when you're drinking water. If you're sick, you gotta stay nice and hydrated. But I hope you do feel better. I'm sorry that you're sick. <laughs> Hydrates by sipping on my Diet Dr. Pepper. <laughs> ah, yes. Hydration. Feel the, feel the fluids coursing through my veins. <laughs> Does a lollipop count? I don't... You know, I'm gonna have to say no. Looks at snow globe desperately. Why is that the most unhinged comment that I've... 
encountered during a hydration check. Okay, okay, because usually people are like, oh, does this count? Does this count? But the, the snow globe comment, it's just, it's subtle, you know? Because you're just looking at it. But the implication of you looking at it, what it implies is the funny part. Mmm, <laughs> snow globe water. Yummy. That is incredible. Incredible. Love that I participated in a hydration check while at work. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. <laughs> it's one of those drinks, but a frozen one. So maybe it counts. I'm also sick. No, kitty cat crossing. I'm so sorry. Feel better. And good soup enjoyer. Thank you so much for the nine months. I haven't caught you in a while. Swiss my old collection is bigger and burnt out from Animal Crossing. Very sick right now. Well, I'm glad the Squishmallow collection is bigger. I'm sorry that you're burnt out. I'm sorry that you're sick. I really hope that you feel better soon and that maybe you get over the burnout and, and maybe feel inspired. But if you don't, that's okay too. Don't push yourself. I zoned out during hydration check and I do it now. Do it now. And also hydrate between hydration checks. Don't just wait for me, okay? Because I sit here and I talk and talk and talk and forget about hydrating. But if you remember, just do it. Don't wait for me. You guys are at work. It's 11 p.m. At, in Poland. <laughs> Everybody's got all kinds of schedules, you know? All kinds of schedules. Okay, let's put everything away. Um... We can definitely upgrade our storage one more time if we need to, but for now we're okay. For now, we have 400 more items we can put in here, and I don't think I have that much stuff. So many of us are burnt out right now, relatable. Yeah, I do notice that, you know, like, the Animal Crossing content has definitely been slowing down a little bit, you know? I mean, even me, I post a lot of Squishmallow content now, I would say I post... At least lately, I've been posting more Squishmallow stuff versus Animal Crossing. I mean, besides the 30-day challenge. But I've definitely been noticing that. But I'm glad to uh, keep sticking with it at least for a little while. Bought a daily routine shirt. I'm so excited for it to come. Thank you, Allison. I hope you love it. Thank you so much for the support. It's 10 p.m. Froggy, let me sleep. No, you must stay awake forever. <laughs> no, if you have to go to sleep, go to sleep. You can always rewatch the stream later. The Animal Crossing community is desperate for good soup. I know. I wish they would give us like one crumb. Like one crumb. I would be all over that crumb. You know? One crumb of content. <laughs> Haven't played it for ages, but I've still been here every week. Oh, I appreciate that. I, I really do. I mean, I know that I'm not doing the most interesting stuff right now. We're just destroying the island, but I do appreciate it. Haven't played consistently since July. So almost a year. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I mean, I understand. I understand. <laughs> Even if the crumb tasted bad. Exactly. Exactly. Like, what do you guys... Okay, so what would Nintendo have to release for Animal Crossing? For those of you who are not playing right now, to get you to play again. Like new villagers, new items, a new DLC. Like what would make you be like, okay, yeah, I'm logging into Animal Crossing again. <laughs> I'm curious. Bulk crafting. Oh my goodness. It, the fact that we never got that is sad. Creative mode. New items. Rewatching stuff is good. Being on the stream is better. True, but sleep is also good. <laughs> More Sanrio stuff. That would be nice. Froggy Sofa. All of the old villagers that they got rid of. New DLC. New frog villager themes like Froggy Crossing. Yes, yes. Pets, grapes, Nook's Cranny upgrade. Discount on the game. That's funny. Trees on sand. Oh my goodness, I wish. A cool 2.5 update. Agree, agree. Multiple save files, yes. Oh my goodness, having multiple islands, yes. On one switch, absolutely. And Saturn, thank you so much for the super chats. Exams are tomorrow, I'm stressing, and you're literally the only person keeping me calm. I'm glad that I can help you just chill out, not worry about that stuff. I'm sure you're going to do great on your exam. Don't forget to sleep and drink water. I know it's such cliche advice, but 
really, whenever I did exams in school, like, if I didn't sleep good the night before, I was just, like, dead. And I did not have enough brain power to do anything the next day. And I barely have enough brain power as it is. <laughs> yeah, all of that stuff would be great. Mini games, yes. Like, oh my goodness, if they just did some multiplayer stuff, like, not, not even new content, just, like, some sort of improvements to the multiplayer, that would be great, too. Like, either mini ga mini games would be, like, peak, peak content, you know? But, I don't know. Like, if they, if they even did something as simple as letting someone come to your island from a different island and terraform with you, that would be incredible. Right? Like, imagine that. Like, imagine all the stuff you could do with other people and, like, just imagine the videos we could make. Of, like, me forcing Quack to decorate with me or something. <laughs> Honestly, anything at this point. Uh, yeah. Yeah. The pizza. Oh, yeah, the Cravings Pineapple Pizza, and I just tore down the pizza shop. That's so funny. They need a Squishmallow item, right? Right? What would be really cool is if they did, like... I'm trying to think of how it would work because like i um me and a quack were just trying to play skyrim together it's like this popular mod for skyrim and it lets you make the game like multiplayer so that you can play multiplayer even though it's not designed to be multiplayer um but that game just like has so much support for like mods it's just am amazing really so you can change so many things like of course, there's like this famous video of like where the dragons, instead of a dragon, it's Thomas the Tank Engine flying in the sky. So like, how cool would it be if we could do stuff like that? Put Thomas the Tank Engine in Animal Crossing, you know? <laughs> no, but like, I don't know. Cut Like mod an item to be something else, you know? I guess that's just mods in general, but it would be cool. Like if we had some sort of tool for making some sort of like custom item, even if it was really annoying, I'd do it. I'd do it. Some sort of trading mode? Yeah, that would be cool. Thoughts on Hopkins? I like Hopkins. Creative mode would be really cool. Hello, bestie? Okay. Like, if we just had all the controls that we had in Happy Home Paradise, but like on your actual island, that would be so cool. Bring back star trees? Yeah. That would be so cool. I need to be able to give bugs and fish to people. Like, please, Animal Crossing. That would be cool, too. Uh, Divorce Tom Nook, thank you so much for the seven months. Thought you'd appreciate this. My sister ordered me a Brewster Coffee Pour Over Kit from Japan for my birthday, and it's perfect. That is so sweet. Oh, my goodness. Wait, so what is a, what is a pour over kit? I don't know what that is. I don't drink coffee, so I'm very ignorant when it comes to like coffee things it sounds really cool though that is that is amazing like to get it all the way from japan that's super thoughtful the flower pot isabel has like i need it now yes yes multiple island representatives and being able to not share a switch but share island and also multiple islands per switch yeah that would be really nice Yes, putting rugs outside. Do you know the power? The power that I would have if I could put rugs outside with my decorating? It would be incredible. It would be fantastic. I would break the game. I would break the internet. I would break Animal Crossing, YouTube, everything. Maybe that's why they don't give us that power. Because they know that I would just... I would be too much, you know? You put the coffee grounds in a filter and pour hot water over it and it goes into the jug. It has Brewster over it. Oh, that's cool. So it's kind of like a kind of like a coffee pot type of thing, like a special thing. I don't know. I don't know what what I don't know how to make coffee. I truly don't. But that's really cool. I I am very happy for you. Late to playing Dreamlight Valley. Got any tips? Um Apparently the biggest complaint now that I've been seeing people talk about is that there's an item limit to stuff you can put outside. So I would say as you're going through your valley and decorating, um, you might have to be like a little bit choosy with 
items, because apparently people hit that limit pretty easily. <laughs> Remove chops, yes. That's also something we should do. And we'd have more custom design space if we could place rugs instead, right? Yes. Sharing an island with friends like Minecraft would be cool. Going back to more islands. Yeah, like, if you could just have, like, an Animal Crossing server, and you just have, like, a bunch of people come on it all the time, it'd be chaos, but it'd be cool. <laughs> And Maddie, thank you so much for the super chat. Recently reset my island. What should I do? Hmm. Like in terms of theme? I would say... I'm, I'm a little biased, but you could do something tropical because summer's coming up. Or something foresty because I'm doing forest core. Just a, I'm just a little biased. Just a little bit. <laughs> just a little bit. First Froggy live stream. Welcome, Brittany. Welcome. Add PvP mode to Animal Crossing. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's actually terrifying. Like, you just both whip out the, the sharpened axe. Two will enter. One will leave. <laughs> oh my goodness. PvP mode. I'm ready. I'm ready. Just got here why are you flattening your island because we're going to be using this island for a new island so i'm getting rid of everything on here <laughs> why are we flattening leapfrog i'm concerned for you instead of resetting i'm just i'm just flattening for all my other islands i've reset i've never flattened so i wanted to try it and also i just have so much on this island like my catalog my money my what else catalog money uh diys all of that that i'm like mm, i don't really i don't really feel like completely resetting and just wiping all of this you know because i feel like i just started a new island with a 30-day challenge so i'm like Ugh, i don't want to do all of that again the three plots i'm so sick of them i'm so sick of them being able to give the dodos a stack of tickets to villager hunt without going back to the airport that would be really nice it would if they gave us the ability to place items in water, I would pray to Nintendo like a god. So jealous of people with modded switches. Right? Like, if we could put lily pads in the rivers? Again, you know how powerful I would be? I would make that all froggy island I've always dreamed of, and it would be unstoppable. It would be objectively the best island that exists. I don't make the rules. <laughs> no, why? I just need to pick up, like, two more things. Best deeds. Eh, okay. Put something away. And Ashley, thank you so much for being a member for seven months. Hi, Raven, living the 30 day challenge. Any thoughts on using the actual bones from the fossils to make the whole dinosaur archaeological forest vibes? I have considered it. Like, we'll probably end up having, like, being forced to do that because to get to five stars, I'm imagining I'm going to have to put way more stuff on the ground and fossils are really useful because a lot of them are really expensive so i feel like isabel likes that a little bit more but yeah i haven't really found that many that i like like i'm mostly looking for the antler deer thingy and i think that's like the most foresty so i'm hoping to get more of those so we can place them all around but in conclusion answer is yes <laughs> Okay, so I think now we have to get to terraforming, which is just like destroying everything, which is going to be not my fave, but we got to do what we got to do. This is this is the only annoying part. This is the only annoying part. Oh, wait, there's still a few items up here. Hold on. Can we call the island pineapple juice? <laughs> I guess. Sure. Uh, let me also get rid of any trees up on the cliffs. There we go. R.I.P. Leapfrog. Yeah. Yeah. Getting to place trees on corners without the game screaming at you. I know! Well, you can still do the, the tree glitch, but it's just more work, you know. And Mixed Guys, thank you so much for the super chat! What dreamies are you thinking of for your island? So... Tangy's already here. Who did we just get last week? 
I think we got boots. Oh yeah, we got boots. So tanky boots. And definitely I'm thinking Flora, right? She's very tropical. I'm thinking Audie. I've never had Audie on an island. And I always have liked her. I've always loved her. Um, I think Lily's coming back for sure. So Lily's going to be probably top dreamy. What's your new island theme? Or is it a secret? It's not a secret. It's going to be like Florida tropical. Probably mostly tropical. <laughs> but like Florida based, you know. Um, I'm trying to think who else. Frogs, gators, um, maybe Julia, maybe, because I do have, like, some stories with peacocks, so I feel like they could be relevant. She could be relevant. I think Sasha would be cute, like a tourist. <laughs> that would be funny. We could have a tourist. Oh yeah, probably like Dobie to be like um, like a snowbird, you know? We shall see. I haven't made the official list yet, you know? But we'll get there. We'll get there. And Carrie, thank you so much for the super chat. Have I ever had black olive and pineapple pizza? It's the bomb. I have not. I'm not the biggest olive person, so I usually tend to not have anything with olives. But I'm sure it's- I'm sure it's good. For Florida Island, you need a jail. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Abby, thank you so much for the super chat. Hunting for my spring island, who should I get? Um, let's see. I think Mary's very cute for spring. I think Mary's very cute. Um, anyone who's kind of like pastel, light pink, like yellow, maybe a little duck. Joey is like an all yellow duck, but he's got those eyebrows, so up to you. But I feel like Molly also. We were just saying last week, Molly's like the perfect villager. She fits in so many themes. Um, Javier, thank you so much for the super chat. Just resetted my island and guess who was my first villager on the campsite? It was Chops. Why is my island cursed now? My friend, I am so sorry. I am so sorry. Hopefully your island is not cursed. I don't think so. Not forever. But I just, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping for your sake that he gets out of there soon. <laughs> and Captain Croak, thank you so much for the super chat. Got another switch and decided to go fairy core. Nice. That's super fun. I love fairy core. And the Florida Man villager? I don't know. Um, we were saying jitters. Like, jitters was my pick, but I'm like, do I really want jitters on my island? Like, do I want a Florida Man to ruin the beautiful, cutesy aesthetic that I'm gonna create? Undecided. Undecided. <laughs> We shall see. Oh, I should probably leave this incline up, huh? For now. For now. Thinking of doing Tropic Core, City Core is too hard. I don't I don't know how I could do City Core ever. I don't know how anybody does City Core ever. <laughs> Bud would be really cute as the stereotypical surfer dude that's all cowbunga. Yeah, very true. Very true. We gotta see how much I want to lean into, like, the funny villagers, or like the... I don't know what you would call it. Not stereotypical, I guess stereotypical, but... Do I want to just have, like, cutesy tropical villagers? Or do I want to have, like, the Florida man? The, the, the person who lives in the snowbird community? The, <laughs> the, the surfer dude? Like, do I want to have all of these, like, archetypes? Or do I want to just have, like, cute aesthetic villagers? I don't know. When will the next villager hunt be? Not sure. Whenever we get a thop of lot here, I suppose. <laughs> it's the jokes or the aesthetic. Exactly. Exactly. Not sure yet. Funny would be cool. I, I think we could do a good mix of funny and cute, you know? Yeah, I have to make a Disney World, right? I just don't know how to do it. I don't know how to freaking do it. We shall see. I feel like I had something to show you guys. Oh yeah. So like I've been I've been seeing that crochet is very trendy lately, and I'm like, okay, I can actually participate in this. So, this is my trial run of what I've been making 
I'm trying to make like this little mesh. This is one piece. This little mesh. Um, I don't know what it's called. It's like not a sweater, not a cardigan. It's going to be sleeveless and it's going to be like cropped, but it's just like this little mesh cover thing. So like here's here's one side, right? Okay. I'll show you the vision. Here's the other side. <laughs> but it'll be like open and then I'm going to put like a little tie right here. Yeah, like a vest, I guess. I'm not sure. Uh, but I'm going to put like a tie here and then it'll just tie at the top here. And I'm working on the back right now. But yeah, that's for once I actually have a crochet project that I'm working on. So that's a trial run with like this neutral yarn that I don't really care about. And then I want to make it in like a bunch of fun colors to match like all my outfits and stuff. I'm excited. Speaking of crochet, I made my mom a crochet bouquet for Mother's Day and she loved it. Oh, that is so sweet. Nice. That is very, very admirable because I know crocheting flowers is not like the easiest thing ever. I'm crocheting right now. Nice. <laughs> for Mother's Day, I... Um, was gonna do an edible arrangement. Like I was gonna send an edible arrangement to my mom and to my grandma, uh, but I went and like added it to the cart. And I, I don't know if this is new or if it's just for Mother's Day, but they have this new fee for a guaranteed Mother's Day delivery. It's like 15 extra dollars just to have it delivered on Mother's Day. And those things are already expensive. They're already like $80. Like if you pick a nice one or like 50 to 60 for like the really tiny, tiny things. Um, so I was like, what the heck? Like, why is this so much? <laughs> and like my mom doesn't care about, both my mom and my grandma don't care about like things being expensive. Like they don't want expensive gifts. They just want thoughtful gifts or like meaningful gifts. So I was like, you know, it, it means the same to my mom and my grandma, whether I just get them some grocery store fruit or grocery store flowers versus like a fancy edible arrangement, you know? If I start spending too much money on them, then they get upset at me. <laughs> They're like, no, it's too much. So I ended up just doing Instacart and had somebody drop off like a little mini flower bouquet and like some chocolate covered strawberries to their doorstep and that worked out perfectly fine and it wasn't a ton of money and I even gave the instacart person a nice tip and it was still so much cheaper than freaking edible arrangements with their mother's day delivery fee anyways uh lego thank you so much for the super chat why do you used to love chops so I didn't actually used to like chops um, that one video where I was hunting for him was for April Fools, so I thought it would be funny to pretend that I liked him. But unfortunately, it has come back to bite me. <laughs> it always confuses me hearing Americans talk about Mother's Day in May. Oh, when is it for you? That's interesting. Bye, random human. I'll see ya. And what? Thank you so much for the super chat. Am I a car in disguise? I am not. Not a, I'm not a car disguise. <laughs> and a pom pom peridot. Thank you so much for the super chat. A build of the man who robbed a Wendy's with a gator. See, like, I, my first instinct is to say, is that real? But I know the answer. I know the answer. I mean, we have to, right? That's that's too Florida. That's too Florida not to do. <laughs> the fact that you hesitated in answering the question. No, I didn't. No, there was no hesitation. Listen, I don't commit crimes and I'm not a car. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's in March here. Oh, it always gives me a heart attack when people talk about it. Then I remember it just happened for us. That's so funny. <laughs> I think I own or Yon would be adorable as Disney. That would be funny. That would be cute. Kind of suspicious, Raven. Do you go room room? I do not go room room. I'll have you know, I don't. <laughs> oh my goodness. And Wonky, thank you so much for the super chat. Just wanted to say, love your videos and find you really funny. Have a good day. Thank you. I appreciate it. I really do. 
some days I don't think that I'm funny. Some days I think that I'm very unfunny. So I appreciate it. And Avi, thank you so much for the super chat. I appreciate it, my friend. Can this drift stop? Can Really, can it stop? <laughs> and what? Thank you so much for the super chat. Spending all my $10 for you, but it's worth it. I do appreciate it. You totally don't have to, but it is appreciated. And Izzy, thank you so much for the super chat. Doing this with Drift is so difficult. Gas, but you just went room room. No. No, you were hearing something else. It was a car outside. It was a car outside. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and Deli Queen, thank you so much for the uh, seven months. I don't know how I've lived without this membership. It's been the best seven months of my life. That is so sweet of you. Thank you. And I love all the emojis. I love our bread tag yum emoji. It's so good. <laughs> it's so good. And Lolly Slays, thank you so much. Welcome. Just popping in to say hey. And thank you so much for getting some merch. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> The slander. No, no. You know, okay, I just thought of the cursed craving for today. And it's totally unrelated, but the cursed craving for today is gasoline. Just totally unrelated. It just, just came to me. Just thought of it right now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Raven, you don't have to lie. You're a car. <laughs> we know. Just admit it. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Ed Clam, thank you so much for becoming a Tadpole member. Welcome to the car. Wait, welcome to the pod. That was a genuine slip of the tongue. Oh my goodness. Welcome to the pod. Thanks for sp thanks for driving it, I guess. <laughs> oh my god. I'm not helping my case right now. I'm not. <laughs> You woke up in a new Bugatti? I am the new Bugatti. <laughs> Raven is a vehicle confirmed. Freudian slip. Oopsies. <laughs> Sounds sus. Sounds sus there, Raven. Yeah. <laughs> Busted. Raven's a car. <laughs> oh, this is so unhinged. This is so unhinged. <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> you know, if I'm gonna be a car, I wanna be a transformer, okay? I still wanna be able to like get up and walk. Raven would be a uh, VW Beetle with eyelashes and frog decals, yes. Yes. Frogatti! Woke up in my new Frogatti, yes. Yes. <laughs> Conversation is reminding me of that one stream where we were talking about naming cats vehicular manslaughter. Yeah. Same vibes. Same same unhinged vibes. Yeah. Red tag gasoline. Mm, yum. Do I know like Lightning McQueen? Not personally, but I have a friend that knows him. A human friend. A, a human friend. Human. <laughs> Can we get an oil change? <laughs> Besties, we gotta change our oil, okay? Listen, to keep up with our maintenance as cars, we gotta regularly change our oil. So if you haven't been to an oil change check, let me tell you how it's gonna go down. We're gonna grab our oil. Water, do not consume oil, please. And we're gonna wait for the timer to hit 30 seconds. And we're gonna drink. Oil change. Mmm. Yum. Yum. <laughs> Great job, everybody. Great job, everybody. <laughs> I don't think we've had a single stream that doesn't have a curse conversation. Yeah, true. True. I mean, like, it's just... It's just necessary, you know? <laughs> I would rather die from dehydration than consume oil. I mean, yes. Yes, like, don't, don't drink oil. Like... Don't, don't drink oil. Drink water. <laughs> uh, amazing. Hey, just got here. What's happening? Great question. Don't know. 
I'm flattening, kind of, and I was not accused, I wouldn't say accused. I was questioned on whether I was in fact a car, like secretly deep down in disguise. So I'm just trying to refute that claim, you know, I'm not a car. Uh, and rose gold thank you so much for the super chat hey raven what if you try to force perspective build for disney on the new island ej inspired me to try one and they're a challenge Ooh, you know that would be probably really good because i could make it kind of smaller more low-key i hadn't thought of it so thank you so much for the idea what was the force perspective that ej did i want to go i want to go see what they did because I love me a good force perspective. They're so good. <laughs> Bestie said went full synthetic. <laughs> She's not a car guy. She's a transformer. Exactly. Exactly. And Abby, thank you so much for becoming a tadpole member. Welcome to the... Actually, hold on, hold on. Thank you so much for becoming an, a, a new Bugatti. Welcome to the parking lot. Thanks for driving in. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Raven's a car, vroom vroom. <laughs> what color transformer? I want to be pink. Can I be pink? I want to be pink. You change your name to Froggy Car? Sure. That's my name now. Welcome to the parking lot. Yes, welcome to the parking lot. <laughs> I can't. I can't. Pink Lamborghini? I would love to be a pink Lamborghini. Decepticon or Autobot? Um, if I say Decepticon, are you guys going to judge me? Are you gonna- are you gonna judge me if I say that I want to be a Decepticon? But like, not an evil one, you know? I don't want to be evil. I just want to- I just want to be up to something. You know, I just want to be a little silly. I just want to have like a- a little like, half-baked plan. You know? I just- I just want to be like, oh, what's- what's Raven up to? Hmm, a little suspicious. What's she doing? Like, that kind of vibe. Like, not that I want to take over Earth or anything like that. Like, I don't care about that. <laughs> the parking lot is filled with 702,000 people, yes. Silly goofy crimes, yeah. Oh my goodness, I saw this meme that was <laughs> so funny. It was like, it was something like, oh, what are some, some good beginner crimes that you would recommend for me to start out with? It was something so dumb like that. I was like, this is the, the dumbest meme I've ever seen, but it was so funny. Like, what's what are some beginner crimes that you would recommend? <laughs> I think Pepper would recommend theft. <laughs> I have to drive us I have to drive you to the McDonald's today? Wait, I was supposed to drive everybody to McDonald's? Are we gonna be late? Oh no. Tax evasion, yeah. Stealing silly bands. Jaywalking. Squishville theft. I hate that these are all things that I've done. Except for tax evasion. Except for tax evasion. I, I pay my taxes. <laughs> I just almost incriminated myself. I mean, no. No, I didn't because that would, because that would imply that I actually committed the crime, which I didn't. Mm-mm. Mm -mm -mm. Almost got me. Almost got me. No, no, no. <laughs> so I have stolen Squishmills and no, 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 no. My cat has though, and I am his guardian. So I think I, I am responsible for that one. <laughs> oh, Pepper did recommend it. He stitched it on his TikTok. <laughs> oh my goodness. Cars don't pay taxes. True. True. Almost got me. <laughs> sure, Raven. Listen, I, I, I've always paid my taxes. Okay. I promise. Oh, we should not leave that bush up there by itself. Okay. 
caught red-handed. No. No. And Ella, thank you so much for the super chat. Hey, Raven, I love your streams. Don't you love it when your villager gives you a skeleton after you help them find a lost item? Ah, yes. Ah, yes. Sometimes they're just so thoughtful, aren't they? They really are. <laughs> I hope they give you some better gifts in the future. <laughs> First the silly band, now this. Yep. Yep. You know, one thing one thing leads to another, you know? Just... It happens. It happens. This is the second time you've made a joke about tax evasion recently. I don't know why. I don't know why. Maybe subconsciously I don't want to pay my taxes, but I do. But I do because I'm a good citizen. I'm a good citizen. <laughs> do you pay car insurance then? Well, yeah, the, there's there's car insurance, but it's different than taxes, I I guess technically. Tax evasion sounds like something a Decepticon would do. <laughs> You know, I, I guess so. I, I mean, none of them probably for one second think about paying taxes. I recommend for a special frogatti like you in the crime business to run a red light. It's like a very serious but typically unnoticed crime. <laughs> oh my god, my was- no, be safe, be safe while driving. Nobody needs to get hurt. KK Maddie, thank you so much for the super chat. Hey, Raven, just started raining and thundering here, so the vibes are great. Hope you had, a, or hope you have a great week. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. I hope you have a great week as well. Enjoy the rain and, and thunder. Uh, I can see you being a bright pink four-wheeler. I can see that. Okay, if you guys, if you guys were gonna get transformed into a car, like, which car would you want to be? If you had to be one. If like, if like tomorrow you're waking up as a car, what do you want to be? Do you want to be like a little, a little tiny car? Do you want to be a big pickup truck? Do you want to be like a semi truck? Do you want to be like a, oh, a UPS truck? A Tesla, okay. An orange Jeep. A mint green Mini Cooper. Oh, you guys have these answers on deck, okay. I want to be a Volkswagen Beetle with flower decals. Those kids' car toys. <laughs> mini yellow Mini Cooper. A Fiat 500. See, I love how I ask this question, but I don't know anything about cars. I want to be a tiny car. I want to be a Barbie car, yes. A green Jeep. A lot of Jeeps. A baby pink Lamborghini. Ooh, that's, that's a vibe. I want to be an Amazon truck. <laughs> Bright yellow monster pickup. Ooh, that's a vibe. Lightning McQueen. Cow print Jeep. Nice. Barbie camper. Yes. The Barbie camper. I actually just saw the Barbie camper at Goodwill the other day. And I was like, oh my goodness, I had this as a kid. Bread tag Lambo. Let's go. Batmobile. Lego car. Hatsune Miku BMW. I love that one TikTok audio that it's like, I can't move my eyes. I can't move my mouth. I can't see the end of the horizon. Hatsune Miku, <laughs> or however it goes. I love that one so much. An ambulance? Okay, okay. <laughs> Captain Croak, thank you for the super chat. Are you an A masher or a B masher? Um, A, I think. A Bentley, because my name is Bentley. That's. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. School bus, Remy car, Batmobile, Hot Wheel. Yes. Yes. Magic school bus. Sunray, thank you so much for the super chat. Hi, I've been watching you for two years. Your vids are such a safe space that when I'm sad, my boyfriend asks, is there a new froggy video? So thanks. That is so cute and sweet. Oh my goodness. I can't get over that. I'm so glad that I could give you a little bit of comfort and joy with my videos. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching and being here um, in this chaos. In this chaos. We're talking about what car we want to be. It's- it's definitely something. 
Pink mystery machine. Ooh. <laughs> Hello Kitty school bus. A steamroller. Ooh. I want to be a bike. That's not a vehicle though. You need to pick a car. Google Maps van? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Oh, ice cream truck. That's nice. Felicity, thank you so much for the super chat. How's Pepper doing? Love your videos. Thank you so much for asking. Pepper's doing better. Um, we were talking about him earlier. His sneezing, I think, is definitely clearing up. I don't know if he's completely stopped, but it's definitely, like, way better. So I think he is improving. He's on the man- on the mend. <laughs> on the mend. I want to be a Taco Bell truck? Yes. Oh, okay, you know what I would want to be also? As one of my options. Um, Squishmallows did like a like a tour. I forget when. A couple months ago. But they had like a Squishmallow like tour bus. I want to be the Squishmallow tour bus. Yes. That's, that's my answer. <laughs> I want to be Lightning McQueen. Mm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mini Cooper Transformer would be really cute. Ice cream truck. Squishville car. Oh yeah, the Squishville car. That's a good one. And Indie Trash, thank you so much for the super chats. A Ravenmobile. A Ravenmobile needs to have froggy chair seats. Um, chicken Alfredo. Stocked fridge. Like a mini fridge full of of pre-made chicken alfredo that we heat, reheat whenever. Bread tag jar. Bread tag shaped wheels. I don't know how that works logistically, but we need to make it happen. Toto Airlines airplane. Golf cart. Golf cart works. Um, what else do we need to have in the froggy mobile? Pepper and Peach get their own dedicated room. Okay, so they have their own room with plenty of Squishville for Pepper. Windows and lizards for Peach. Um, we have a bunch of switches set up with TVs for you to play Animal Crossing. Taco food truck. Some Barbie Dreamhouse fan. Oh, yes. Yes, froggy chair seats. Uh huh, uh huh. Mm -hmm. Bread tag shaped air freshener. Bread tag scented. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> and I have no name. Thank you so much for the super chat. Hey, Froggy. Just got here. Are you flattening your Kid Core Island to make the Florida Core slash Tropical Island? Yes, exactly. You got it. You got it. That is exactly what we are doing. And I'm having trouble flattening because of my drift, but it's okay. We're going to power through. And we're also talking about what car we would be if we're going to be a, a car. <laughs> Bread tag wheels. Yes. Um... Boba dispenser, yes. Yes. <laughs> what else? What else? A Nico poster, yeah. Of course, um, like a- Oh, okay, we need to have like a water bed. But instead of water, it's squishmallows inside. I don't know how that works. But it's gonna work. We're gonna make it work. Shouldn't you move the houses to the beach first or are you gonna terraform the cliffs? Um, I probably should move them to the beach. I probably should. Because <laughs> I do want them to be in different locations. So, you know what? We might as well just... Let's take a break from the... The cliff... The cliffs and go do that. That would be so lumpy. Wait, are they eating soup? No, I think that's tea. No, don't suffocate the squish. I gotta sleep. I gotta sleep somewhere. Oh, hello. You have more storage in your home? No, yes, yes. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Tom. Um, I also need to I need to move some houses if you don't mind. Uh who do we move first? I don't know. Hot dog water air freshener. <laughs> My favorite scent. My favorite scent. Island home. Spider-Man monster truck? Oh my goodness. Froggy, I need more oil. We all need more oil. Oh, but like water? Yes. Yes. Okay, we'll get to that. Um, okay, who's 
house is like the closest right now. I think Stitch. Oh no, his is on the floor. I guess let's move Henry. I should probably move my own house too. Okay, let's move it. This is no hot dogs allowed, right? Will you continue new themes on this island or will you eventually reset? I don't know. I haven't thought of it past our Florida island, so I don't know. We'll see. As time goes on. As time goes on. I wonder if there is a bread tag shaped air freshener. I feel like... How has somebody not made that? There's a purse? How has somebody not made an air freshener? Bread tag air fresh... Freshener. No, but what pops up is... Someone selling a bunch of bread tags on Etsy. What? And they're in like a little bowl. Wait. Is this a good deal? You can buy a hundred of them for nine dollars? Should I just do that? I Okay, I legitimately do want to make like bread tag art. Like I want to do something with it. Okay, I don't see bread tag shaped air freshener, but I do see a loaf of bread. I don't know if that counts. <laughs> I don't know. A hundred bread tags for nine bucks seems like a good deal. <laughs> do it. <laughs> oh, maybe, maybe. Because we could definitely make earrings. We could definitely make, um, putting mystery bread tag boxes. Oh my goodness. I want to do something like a, like a little collage, like glue them all to like some cardstock and like frame it, you know, and make just like an art piece. Cause I see, I saw somebody, not somebody do it, but I think somebody tagged me on something like that on Twitter. It was pretty cool. So I want to drive the Wienermobile. Yes. They definitely they definitely have hot dog water on that Wienermobile. They do. A bread tag mosaic, yeah. That would be so cool. We would need we would need so many. Yeah, I would have to open a fuel box just for bread tags. Exactly. Ah, <laughs> uh, that would be cool though. Where would I put that? I have like no space in here. I have like space like super high up, but that's it. <laughs> Oh, Divorce Hamnock, yes, that was you! Oh my goodness, it was fantastic. It's stuck in my head this whole time. I'm like, the bread tech art, I gotta, I gotta make my own. Gotta make my own. Make an intentional bread tag smoothie? No. <laughs> On the ceiling? <gasps> Imagine! Oh, wait. Imagine I filled my ceiling with bread tags. I don't even know how I would get those up there. I mean, I could like glue them or do like sticky tack or something. Imagine. And then you walk into my room and you look up and it's just <sighs> bread tags. Oh my goodness. Uh, Shantae, thank you so much for the super chat. Glad to catch your stream. My dad is having surgery tomorrow. Please wish him well. Oh my goodness. I hope everything goes smoothly. I'm wishing your dad all the best. And all of you guys too. I'm wishing your family the best. I know that can be really stressful. So... I hope you guys are at peace, chill with it. Not chill with it, oh my goodness. You know what I mean. <laughs> I hope everything goes okay. I hope it's not too hard on you guys and I hope your your dad recovers super fast. Super fast. You could do like a garland of bread tags, yes. <laughs> bread tag walls. I feel like, could you do like chain mail with 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 bread tags like could you no because you would have to like close them you would have to like glue them shut i feel like you can't do chain mail no unless you like made holes in them <laughs> bread tag floors i would if i didn't have carpet hair clips oh yeah i feel like I'm looking at them right now. I'm like, how could I incorporate this into crochet? <laughs> I feel like people do like sequins with crocheting and you like string them on your yarn. And then as you're crocheting, you pull them down your yarn and like put 
like crochet them into the piece you're making. You could do something like that. Even better, 5000 for $93. See, I don't know if I want to spend $93 on bread tags. I'm fine with spending $9. Oh, and this listing on Etsy is in 15 people's carts. What other people are buying bread tags? Who else has this in their cart on Etsy right now? <laughs> Imagine walking into your room and a bread tag just falls on your head, right? Bread tag car. Bread tag shapes table. I would love that. Bakers, lol. I guess, but like they aren't they aren't blank. They have like the dates on them. So I'm like, if you're gonna get them for actual food products, you should probably have like accurate dates, you know? Cause they already have old dates on them. Maybe it's good for abstract art. Yeah, the listing says for Colorful art, craft supply, cord labeling, food business supply, packaging. Oh, I could make- okay, I could make earrings with just one bread tag on each, and then I could somehow do like a bunch of them in a line to make like long dangly ones. That would be fantastic. It's in my cart, not gonna lie. <laughs> bread tag a light shade? Ooh. Imagine using bread tags as stitch markers. Oh my goodness, you actually could. You actually could. I used to use twist ties as stitch markers. Oh my goodness. This is this is great. You should find some antique bread tags. Oh, speaking of, of, of antique things. This is so like not that interesting, but um one of our friends gave Quack like a, a VHS of like the Super Mario Brothers Super Show, like one of the episodes just like on VHS. And inside of it was like um, a coupon from, I think it was like 1989 or like 1990 or something. Let me just go get it. Let me just go get it. Cause I think it's interesting. It may not be interesting, but I think it is. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, I got it. I'm back. I got it. Why is everybody cars? Why is everybody cars? I come back and everybody's a car now? <laughs> I don't know if you could hear us yelling at each other. Not yelling, but like, I was like, where is your VHS? I couldn't find it. Okay, so here's the VHS, right? Super Mario Brothers, Super Show. It's like one episode. I don't know. I love like old stuff like this. I mean, I know this is not that old, but like I love little things like this. So this is um, copyright 1989. <laughs> Stop being cars. I'm trying to show you the VHS. <laughs> okay, so then you take it out and it had like this old coupon in there for not even Nesquik. It's just called Quick. Isn't that so interesting? I think it's interesting. I don't know. Maybe I just think boring things are interesting. But you can save 30 cents on one of those. Or on this ready-to-drink milk. Uh, do they even make that? I mean, I, I know they still have the powder. And anyway, it says uh, no expiration date. So I could go. I could still go use these if I wanted to. I could still go use them. Roll up with a super old coupon. Does this have a... No, this doesn't have any sort of date. But the VHS says 1989, so I'm assuming the coupon is from the same time. I don't know, I thought it was interesting. I just like little things like that. <laughs> okay, I, I'm gonna give everybody a minute to transform back into humans. <laughs> Ah oh, yes, love drinking quick. I know, why was it called just quick? Interesting. Anyways. My dad bought me the DVD of all the old Mario cartoons for Christmas. That's cool. 
<laughs> I just joined. What the heck is happening? Right? Guys, okay, we can't be cars. People are gonna come in the chat and be like, literally, what is going on? We're gonna scare everybody off. <laughs> Go back to being humans, please. Somebody said, I think I ran someone over. If you're gonna be cars, you have to drive responsibly because I'm responsible for you, okay? You cannot be getting tickets on my watch. Please. Do not get a ticket. Okay, I saw a thought bubble back here somewhere. Who is here? Hello? Right? Was I imagining that? Oh. I don't think this is a move out bubble. Yeah, he's just giving me a toilet. It's fine. <laughs> oh my goodness. Black Hat Crossing. Thank you so much for the super chat. I keep meaning to mention the tiny bread tags that come in the Make It Mini Crafts. They're so small. Smaller than the camera button on a switch. I'm copying this. I'm pasting this into Google right now. Is it in a specific... I need to find these. These are so cute. Okay, wait, is this like, um, is this like mini brands where it's like a mystery thing? So do I need to buy a bunch of these until I find bread tags? <laughs> these are so cute. Oh my goodness. I would have absolutely no use for all of this mini food, but I want it so bad. <laughs> Cutely runs over chops. Guess are too much. No, I ran out of gas. I don't have any extra gas, so I don't I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> whoever whoever asked me if I was a car in disguise, are you proud of what you've started? Are you proud? This slowly runs over jobs. <laughs> I ran over Kropi Snack. Okay, see, crimes are being committed against Kropi Snacks. And you guys were so ready to take me to court for my Kropi Snack. Alleged Kropi Snack. Um, I wouldn't say murder. Consumption. If you guys are running over Kropi Snacks, I want you to be held accountable. I crashed into stitches, so I have to sew them together. You don't have evidence? <laughs> yeah, there's no there's no evidence for either one. You know what? You're right. Let's just let's just let both of them slide, you know. Uh, am I gonna be playing the new Zelda game at all? I don't I don't think so. I like I don't know. I don't know if I'm just being a hater. I'm just like, eh. Eh. <laughs> I mean, my boyfriend insists that I would love Breath of the Wild and Tears of the King Kingdom, so maybe one day he'll convince me, but I don't know. It's hard for me to play, like, single-player games by myself because I'm always playing Animal Crossing, and if I'm gonna play video games and I have free time, then, like, I want to play something with Quack, so I just prefer to play things that are, like, multiplayer. But he's been playing it. I've been watching him play it just, like, a little bit. But I love stuff like Skyrim, Genshin, Impact, so I feel like I would like the games. I just- I also don't want to spend $70 or whatever it is. <laughs> and Kina, thank you so much for the super chat. Vroom vroom! Vroom? Beep beep! <laughs> you know what? Controversial, but I agree. <laughs> Do you think the prison guards will let us watch the stream after we run over Kuropi snacks? Maybe if you- if you ask nicely. Yeah, maybe. I get that. I like playing with my sister. We just kind of take turns and it makes it kind of multiplayer. That's kind of cute. We definitely could- oh no, I didn't mean to do that. We could definitely do something like that, but he's already so far in, into the game. I already don't know what's going on. I mean, I would run around and just like, I don't know. I don't even know what you do in the game. I will just run around. That's what I would do. <laughs> Hot take, but vroom vroom beep beep. Hot take, but I agree. <laughs> I 
Oh, you know what would be funny? What would be a funny vehicle to be? Okay, in the original Power Rangers, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, it's so, like, funny. It's like, so, I don't know the word for it. They do things that just don't make sense, but are just, like, to get the plot moving. Like, they'll have some sort of issue, and then usually Billy, like, the the techie nerdy one will come up with some sort of device to fix everything and it's just like this totally outrageous device that like like humans can't make that you know but in one of the episodes or like it's it's throughout a few of the episodes he literally makes a flying car and there's just shots of them like riding around in a flying car and i'm like you're literally power rangers and you can literally teleport why do we need this flying car but it's so dumb it's so dumb so you know what i would also want to be the flying car from power rangers <laughs> that's also one of my answers <laughs> runs over froggy chair don't run don't run over the froggy chair no just saw Tangy driving with sunglasses and boosted up music. That's so Tangy. And Simply Bubbles, thank you so much for the super chat. What have you missed? We have just been basically flattening and, and cleaning Leapfrog and somebody asked if I was secretly a car in disguise. I said no. And then I kind of said yes. <laughs> and we were just talking about if we had to be a car, which one would we be? So now everyone is a car in the chat right now. That's pretty much it. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Came in at the right time. I've always wanted to be Optimus Prime. <laughs> perfect, perfect. We're pretending to be cars. Kachow, beep beep. Not the kachow. Not the ka no. I don't mean to do this. This is my drift. Ah. <sighs> Anyways, who, how's everyone's uh, oil changes been lately? How, how have they been? Been good? <laughs> oh, Frugies, thank you so much for your super chat. I'm so sorry that I missed it. Might buy 5k worth of bread tag bumper stickers. Yes. Y yes, absolutely. Please mail, mail me. I just need three. Just I just need three of them. You know what? I'm sick of this. Turns into a car. <laughs> uh. Okay, okay. Since we're all cars slash vehicles, you know how some people have squishmallows and, and plushies in their cars? What squishmallow are you going to have? Like, are you going to have on you since you're a car? Uh, and B, thank you so much for the super chat. Hey, we've been looking for the code for the pink and tan plank and tangy's juice bar area, but can't seem to find it. Do you perhaps remember the code or have the name of the design? Oh, which pink and tan plank and tangy's juice bar? Which one is that? Are you talking about these colorful steps? Let me go see her juice bar area just to make sure. Wendy, yes. <laughs> Guys, I have the roomies. I can't. I I can't right now. <laughs> okay, well her her juice bar is pretty much destroyed. Or no, this is or the one in the back. Hold on. <laughs> I accidentally ran over Bob doing the zoomies. Oh, or this one? Or was it this one? Do you need the banana? Yes. Yes. Okay, if it's this one, let me see. Um, let me see if I have it on my Google Doc. Leapfrog. Zozo, yes. The roomies. I'm. <laughs> Okay, I feel like I, I have to have put it in here. Colorful planks, froggy tile. 
I is this really the one that I just did not include in here? Honeybee Crossing, thank you so much for being a member for seven months. Super late, but Froggy, I found two squish randomly at a Dollar General. Nice. I have seen a few at Dollar General before. They're always super random though. Um, let me see. What is this called? Bridge. Oh no, I do have it. I do have it. I think it's this one. Okay. My friend, if you were still in the chat. <laughs> I think I found it. I think so. Okay, B, this is this one's for you. Let me let me type it. Um, so this creator should have like a bunch of different colors. I think it's it's supposed to make like a rainbow. See, like I have um red and, and, and orange and then yellow and green. So I just use that specific red and, and orange piece. There you go. No problem. <laughs> Ugh, there was an empty spot in the Google Doc and I was like, no, please don't tell me this is the one code that like I forgot to include. I would be so upsetty spaghetti. Eh, okay, accidentally closed my streamy thingy. Come back. Okay. Anyways, let me actually terraform and stuff like that. How do you do that thing where it shows a super chat, but shows how long you've been a tadpole member? That is a member, I think it's called like a member milestone. So I think you get one free one, is it a month? I can't remember. <laughs> but it should have like a little pop up on the chat that says you can do it. It'll be like, oh, you can do your member milestone message or whatever. Oh no, I have the roomies. Slowly runs over chops. <laughs> uh, you know, I can I can I can get on board with that. Yep. I can get on board with that. <laughs> can you do a hydration check? Oh yeah, we should probably do that, shouldn't we? Let me get more distracted from terraforming. Let's do a froggy crossing hydration slash oil check. <laughs> If you haven't been to one of these before, or you missed our earlier ones, basically we're just gonna grab our beverage of choice and all of that, and we're just gonna wait for that timer to hit 30 seconds and then take a sip together. On mobile, it's the little money sign in the corner. Gotcha, gotcha. Thank you, because I don't really check on mobile. <laughs> Alright, are we ready? Are we ready? Take a sip. What if you don't have a drink? Uh, go get one for next time. And Simply Bubbles, thank you so much for the super chat. You should turn Storybrooke into a fairy tale island. That would be so cute because I would actually like to do fairy core again. So we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> right now we got to focus on, on the Florida island and making this nice and bright and sunny and tropical. Cast count. Yes. And Kitty Cat Crossing, thank you so much for the three months. Can you do Florida Core codes? Because I'm currently doing Tropicore. Yes, of course. I will, of course, be sharing all of my codes with everybody. I haven't looked for any yet, but I'm very excited to look for some. I feel like we're going to find some fun stuff. And I want to do like slightly Kid Core, like not as Kid Core as Leapfrog, but I definitely want to do like bright colors, very happy, very sunny, all that kind of good stuff. So they may be like slightly kid core. Some of them I was thinking that I already have could still work. Like, um, the little froggies. What else is tropical? Flowers, leaves. I could even still use this little pond. Um, yeah, I think I had some other ones I was thinking of, actually, but I got rid of those. Drink oil out of my daily routine mug. Now I got the roomies. <laughs> Thank you, Emma. I, I do appreciate the support. I, I hope you love it. <laughs> Joy-Cons drifting like a car? Confirmed. We the, the signs have been here all along. Every time I complain about my Joy-Con drift. Oh my goodness. Like Tokyo Drift. Wow. This is really something. This is really something, you know? 
<laughs> Does motor oil count for the hydration check? Um, only if you're a car. Only if you're a car. <laughs> Congrats on 700k! Make a video of you drinking oil. Oh yeah, I'll get right to it. I'll get right to it. <laughs> but if you guys weren't here at the start of the stream, also, thank you so much for 700k. I really appreciate it. It's... It's amazing. I can't wrap my head around it. It's incredible. No, why do I keep doing that? Stop it. The drift. The drift. Okay. Start construction. Oil water. Yes. Now, can you believe it? We are closer to 1 million than we are farther to 1 million like we only need 300k more quack is online which is wild wild i have beef with sparrow for looking like molly oh i feel you i feel you that's how i feel about pudge I have roomies, I better get my oil changed before I crash. <laughs> uh. Will you do a video for 700k? Yes. I don't know what it's gonna be yet. A lot of you guys have sent me those TikTok froggy pizzas. So I'm considering that because I've been doing a lot of baking. So I feel like something more cooking savory you not know, something sweet would be better something that doesn't involve me having to use frosting or anything like that <laughs> and it seems pretty simple like just cook not cookie dough oh my goodness or we could do cookie dough <gasps> dessert pizzas froggy dessert pizzas um but we could just do like uh oh my goodness pizza dough and just dye it green and then you just make that little froggy shape and you're good and you're golden I don't know. I'm considering that. I'm considering that. Can't wait for you get can't wait for you to get a 1 million plaque. I'm just going to like I don't even know, like ascend onto a higher plane of existence. Like when I if I if I ever get that, I'm going to be like this isn't even real. This is not even real. <laughs> and simply bubbles, thank you so much for the super chat. The fact that 2023 is almost over. I wouldn't say it's almost over. I would say like we're almost Halfway there. I would say. We're not almost over. At least we better not be. Because then time will be going too fast. And I'll be sad. Because time's an illusion. And I keep pressing things because my drift. Izzy, thank you so much for the super chat. Have you ever started an island slash theme and like completely lost interest in it i keep trying new ones and i have not been able to finish an island to save my life i have personally not just because i feel like it's maybe a little bit different because i have a youtube channel and if i did that i feel like people might get annoyed with me <laughs> like if i if i start like five different themes and don't finish them like froggy army would be like okay raven can can you please do something though so I feel like I am more incentivized and motivated to continue and not totally drop off of it. Just because I'm like, you know, I want to I want to give that good consistent content. But I would say, I don't know, since I've never had that issue. I can't think of what I would do in that scenario. Um, you could try to do something like a like a more simple theme. That's easier for you to finish. Like, so simple. Like, forest core, where it's just a bunch of trees. And then maybe if you finish that, you would have that sense of like, okay, yeah, I did it. And then, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure what I would do in that situation. Thank you for the fossil. And Damien, thank you so much for the super chat. Just finished the last thing I needed to graduate high school. I passed. I'm so excited to be out of this dumpster fire that is education. <laughs> Woo! I'm very happy for you. Congratulations. I am wishing the best and the brightest future for you. 
Wait, I saw Bedazzle. Bedazzle the one million thingy with frogs? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Let's do it. Woke up in a new froggetti. Frogotti. No, frog. I don't know how to say that. Bugatti. Frogotti. It's hard. It's different. It's different. <laughs> I've done that. Do different portions of your islands and different themes. Oh, that's a really good idea. I didn't even think of that. Natalie's idea is fantastic. Yeah, just do like 10 million different themes. Why not? Just do it. <laughs> just do it. Oh, okay. Also, if anybody watches Defunct Land, please, we need to talk about the Wiggles ride video because I just finished that today and I was like cracking up so much. I don't think I've laughed harder at a Defunct Land video. And if you don't watch Defunct Land, please, please watch. Uh, they do like, kind of like documentary style long videos about like theme parks and kids TV shows and rides and stuff like that. It's really interesting. Yeah, so Wiggles lore. I kept losing my mind whenever he said Wiggles lore. I was just, I was crying. <laughs> it's so amazing. So good. And then just toot toot chugga chugga has been stuck in my head and I've just been saying it over and over again. <laughs> oh. And Chloe, thank you so much for the super chats. Should crochet a temperature blanket? I need a lot of motivation to do a blanket. Right now I'm working on a on a little shirt. That's been good for me. It's a smaller project. Stitches. Oh my goodness. Okay. I get ads for that channel. Never actually watch them. I think it's really interesting. I love like little behind the scenes stuff like that. Lore like that. I love seeing how like rides operate and how kids shows came to be and what the struggles they faced were. All that kind of stuff. Who's your favorite Sanrio character? Hmm. I can never decide. I like so many. I like Pom Pom Purin. I love good old Hello Kitty. I really love Pachaco. He's so cute. I would say him. And then Cinnamarol I love. And I would say those are like my mains. Those are like my mains. I like my Melody, but not as much. I love Kuromi, but just... Not enough to get merch with Kuromi on it. Yeah. <laughs> and that girl Lynn, thank you so much for this or for the nine months. Thank you. You could do the frog pizzas, but it's animal crossing frogs. I don't know if I'm that skilled, but that's an incredible idea. I don't know if I'm that skilled. <laughs> oh yeah, Kuropi. Oh yeah. See, like, I- Kuropi is, like, underneath all of those because I always say this. Kuropi is just not consistent with, like, the merch. There's Kuropi merch that I hate. And there's Kuropi merch that I'm like, okay, this is okay. And there's Kuropi merch that I'm like, this is fantastic. It's just such a wide range of, like, good and bad Kuropi merch. They- sometimes they- they, like, draw him really nice and sometimes he just looks weird. But like for the other characters, I feel like they're more consistent. They they do Kuropi dirty, exactly. Exactly. Like let me, okay, you know what? Let me bring up some examples because I feel very strongly about this. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna dissect this Kuropi inconsistencies in the merch. Okay. Okay. If Google images would load. Some of these are so funny. Um, okay, yes, this is a perfect example of like ugly Kurobi merch. I hope nobody has this in the chat. <laughs> what is this? Okay, interesting things here. Um, save this. This is a good example. 
I gotta find something good now. I gotta find something good. Mm. Oh, there was a tote bag that I was looking at that was so cute. Oh, Lolly, I will catch you later. I hope your arm feels better. Okay, hold on. I got this. I got this. This is very important, like, work that we're doing. Okay? This is very, very important. Okay. And Aaliyah, thank you so much for the super chat. Yesterday was my birthday and I was wondering if you could say happy birthday. It would make my day so much better. My friend, happy birthday. I hope you have an amazing, or I hope you had an amazing day. I hope it was like just the best birthday ever and i hope you have an amazing day today too okay so what is here <laughs> uh this shirt that i bought okay hold on so this is a good example of absolutely terrible Kurobi merch this is like the worst quality picture ever but i'm sorry but what is this what is this what is this i don't like it this is <laughs> It's a little cursed. It's a little cursed. I'm gonna be honest. Okay, versus this is good Kuropi merch. This is good. This is good. <laughs> it's better than some others, I guess. But still, this is good. You know, like look at the look at the cute little. I don't know something with like his eyes and mouth proportions, sometimes they don't get it right. And you know what, this bag isn't even the best example. Oh, this one's so much cuter. I got this one. Okay. I think you have them backwards. <gasps> no. No. Okay, this one is so cute. Why is this the tiniest picture ever? This one's so good, right? Good Kuropi merch. And then here's another bad one. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Why is it so big? Why is it so big? Help me! <laughs> He's taking over the screen. I can't- okay. Anyways. <laughs> that was incredible. Okay, so like this isn't bad. But I feel like he's a little wonky here, you know? Like... It's okay. Like, he's- like, he's cute. But, you know what is top tier Kuropi merch? And, honestly, this is, like, really good for all of the characters. Here, I'll put it up. And then I will be done talking about this tangent after this, okay? Oh my goodness, why are they so big? Help! But there's like these little um, Sanrio burger keychains that I absolutely adore. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Jump scare. <laughs> so, these are so cute. Like, look at the little Kuropi. I think he's cuter when he doesn't have so much space between his eyes and his mouth. I think that's specifically what I don't like looking at them. But these are so cute. I have this little Kuropi burger. It's so cute. Like, look at all of them. They're all freaking adorable. My melody's a little questionable, but they're adorable. They're adorable. And I think and I think his proportions are good. Like on this on this plushie, like this one, like his eyes are just like so ginormous. Like, I know he has big eyes, but they're humongous. Like, they're, they're, like, going past his cheeks. Like, that's not normal. Is that normal for Kuropi? They look like the Spongebob colorful Krabby Patties? Yes. They're so cute, right? They are Kid Robot X Hello Senrio Plush Burger Charm. Oh, they're $14. And you can choose which one you want. They're supposed to be black. Oh, this is on eBay. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. I mean, like, the plushie was cute, you know, but it's like, some of them are questionable and some of them are just hit or miss with me. Like, I feel like a lot of cinema roll stuff, a lot of, um, Hello Kitty, so, well, Hello Kitty, there's, there's some questionable Hello Kitty, but like, I feel like cinema roll is so much more consistent. Like, almost every cinema roll plushie that I see, I'm like, wow, that's a cute plushie, like, I never have any issues with them. 
I don't know, maybe it's a me thing. Maybe I'm just picky about Kurobi. But I feel like he deserves the best. And they don't give him the best. You know? Maybe. Waiting for my coloring book. So excited. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I hope you love it. Okay, let me get this bush. <laughs> Sanrio cars? Are there actually Sanrio cars? Sanrio cars. <laughs> there is! Wait a sec, there is. This is hilarious. The Kurobi car is the most cursed thing I've seen in my freaking life. I'm putting it on the screen. Oh my goodness. Who who designed this? What is that? What is that? What is that? What is that? I need a minute. I need a minute. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> like, okay, the Cinema Row one is cute. The My Melody is, is okay. Gurutama is perfect. Hello Kitty. Questionable with the eyes being so far apart, but she's okay. Kurobi, what the heck? What? It, see, this is what I'm talking about. This is my point exactly. Like, all of the other ones are, like, more normal. Why do they have to do Kurobi dirty like this? What? Who, who decided that this was good for humanity? Who? I just want to have a conversation. I don't like it. I don't like it. The legs, though. Oh my goodness, I didn't even notice. They have his little feet on the back. How does that even work? How does that even work? And they have better- they have better ones, too. Like, there's- there's ones that are just like a bunch of little buses. Let me show you these, because these are totally fine. These are- these are totally normal. See, like, you can make- cars send real cars and they don't have to be like super cursed see like that's so cute Kropi looks looks totally fine they all look totally fine <laughs> i kind of you know oh those are hot wheels okay the cursed ones were hot wheels you can you can get it for 22 dollars a pack of all of them See, these are- these are better. These are better. Anyways. <laughs> I'm so glad that I decided to Google Senrio cars, because that was- ugh. You know, that's something everybody needs to see in their life. Search up Karopi car, it's really cursed. Okay. I'll get more distracted, sure. I'll get more distracted. There's the one we just looked at. Oh wait, this one's so cute. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's just bringing up that the cursed one with the eyeballs. Oh my goodness, this one's so cute. Okay, sorry, one, one last one. One last one and then I'm getting back to terraforming. <laughs> Why is it huge? Stop. Look at how cute this is. This is from 1997. That's so cute. It's a little crusty, but it's it's cute. <laughs> it kind of looks like a like a like a Fisher Price kind of toy. You know what I mean? But see, that's what I mean. You can either have on one side of the spectrum the really cute Fisher Price looking. Kurobi car, or on the other side, the extremely cursed Hot Wheels Kurobi car. Like, nobody else, none of the other Sanrio characters have this issue, at least that I've seen. It's just Kurobi. It's just him. It's just him with the cursed Hot Wheels. Everybody else, everybody else is chillin'. <laughs> everybody else is a chillin'. Is, is chillin'. Is a chillin'? Hmm. Great Grandma Raven. 
Now it's back in my head. To to chug a chug a froggy car. <laughs> the coincidence of us talking about being turned into cars and the defunct line video was about the big red car. Yeah. <laughs> Back at it again with the time the stream, which is cars. Beep beep. Yep yep yep. <laughs> Wonder what the villagers think about all these destruction going on. Uh, they better not care because I'm the one who puts all the effort into this island. You know what I mean? They just better be like, oh yeah, Raven's taking care of everything again. All right, I'm just gonna let her do her thing. I'm just gonna let her do her thing. I feel like I've done absolutely nothing this whole stream, but I've had a blast. <laughs> and I just realized we are just about at our time for today. So let me put away what's in my storage right now. <sighs> love it, love it. You know, I do enjoy the 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 flattening streams because it really just gives me a, an opportunity just to like talk about complete nonsense for two hours. Because my brain is not distracted by having to actually do stuff in Animal Crossing. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, Pixie, thank you so much for the super chat. We can't forget about Cannibalistic Raven. She ate one of our people. Translation. Vroom, vroom. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Also, I got Lillian one ticket. Congratulations. Uh, we don't need to think about the, the cannibalism. No. We don't, need to, we don't need to talk about it. <laughs> oh my goodness. But yeah. I did not eat a car, no. I mean, you know, okay, I'm trying to think, do I want to be accused of eating a car or a Corby snack? I think I'm gonna go with car. Yes, I ate a car. Yes. <laughs> so I think I'm going to get going. I'm gonna go eat dinner. I think we're gonna have some like pulled chicken sandwiches. So I'm pretty excited. See you next week, Raven. Have a good week. Thank you, thank you. Same back at you. I hope everybody has a fantastic week. Thanks for hanging out with me on this totally nonsense stream where I just did nothing but flatten. Um, we'll probably be doing more of it next week, but hopefully we should, I don't know, do something else also. <laughs> I'll figure it out. But I will see you next Monday. I stream every single Monday at 4 p.m. EST. If it's your first time here, we'll continue with our daily series. Be on the lookout for those episodes. Goodbye, everybody. I will see you later. Stay hydrated. Change your oil. Be safe on the roads, okay? <laughs> I'll see you later. Bye!